The Lunar New Year、um, has typically been called the Chinese New Year. That's not wrong, and it's not right. There's a whole other group of Asian countries that also celebrate based on the lunar calendar. They're really warding off the evil spirits, which is the intention of the dance. To get rid of all the evil things that have happened in the year before, and to welcome boldly the new year. They're not meant to be a lot of money. It sort of helps people say, "You, you're part of my life." If you do present a red envelope, make sure you do it with two hands, and that you use new bills. Um, because you don't want to put a ratty five-dollar bill in a red envelope. That would not be a good idea. <laughs> red is supposed to be prosperity, health. So if you ever went to a Chinese New Year dinner and you were wearing white or black, you should just go home and change. <laughs> A lot of the celebratory components center around food. A lot of food. <laughs> That's at the end of the celebration. It also closes off the Lunar New Year celebration. For me, is a special time for me and my family, since me and all my relatives gather once a year, and we're able to enjoy lots of yummy food and share stories over the past years. And in my hometown, what it looks like,、uh, all the streets will be flooding with people trying to get to each other's houses, and there will be lots of gift exchanges during the time. Or、uh, I personally like Lunar New Year a lot because. I can, I can see all my family members who I haven't in a long time, and I can really just talk with them and just build a strong connection with them. Lunar New Year to me means like celebrating with family, like eating Peking duck and exchanging red packets with them. We also have a lot of different things on Chinese New Year. Like this year is the Year of Dragon, so we usually go and watch dragon dances. What I do to celebrate with my family and what we do together is that we go outside with friends and relatives. We usually visit them sometimes as well, and we go outside, eat, have fun, and play. Uh, my family usually goes out to、um, a restaurant with a lot of our friends. And we spend a lot of time eating、uh, traditional meals with and talking a lot. And then the main event is the red packs, where your family gives you these, and they're filled with a lot of money. And every kid really enjoys that part. I usually go to my family's houses to do、uh, different activities with my family. Like、um, I usually、uh, play games with my cousins, and you know, spend time catching up. My family starts cooking a whole heap of different foods before the、um, night, and we invite a whole heap of our family members and friends to come and enjoy the food with us. We also hand out different presents and tell about our daily lives. So we would celebrate with eating dinner with friends and family, and earlier on in the day we'd go see the lion dance. And we would trade red envelopes with each other. Lunar New Year to me and my family in Japan means、um, we eat lots of super good food and have a really good time and drink, and、um, it's just really fun to play games and stuff. Usually the streets are very busy in Hong Kong.、Um, Resets the mood. Everything's on sale, and you know everyone just has a good time. The really cool thing is、um, when at at 
12 a.m. in the morning, you, you go to the temple and then you ring the bell and every temple in Japan, you can just hear the bells ringing all around you and it's like the coolest thing ever. Go to Japan. Um, in Taiwan, during Lunar New Year, there's a lot of bustling people and everyone's scattering around in the markets to buy stuff. And there are a lot of decorations in the stores. And there's a lot of people coming from other places to come visit their family members. In my country, we say which is basically wishing whoever we say that to are for good fortune. It means Chinese New Year in Chinese. Happy Chinese New Year.